The Iliad was an electronic handheld device, or e-reader, which could be used for document reading and editing. Like the Barnes & Noble Nook, Sony Reader or Amazon Kindle, the Iliad made use of an electronic paper display. In 2010, sales of the Iliad ended when its parent company, Irex Technologies, filed for bankruptcy. Topic description. Main specifications: 8.1 inch, 21 centimeters electronic paper display. Area for displaying content is 124 by 165 millimeters. Resolution of 768 by 1024 pixels, 160 dpi 16 levels of grayscale USB connector for external storage CompactFlash Type 2 slot for memory extension or other applications Multimedia card slot for MMC memory cards 3.5 mm stereo audio jack for a headset Wi-Fi 802.11 g wireless LAN 10 one hundredths of a megabit per second wired LAN 390 g 14 ounces weight 400 MHz Intel X scale processor 64 MB RAM 256 megabytes internal flash memory, 128 for user, 128 for system Linux-based operating system, 2.4 kernel SDK provided, so functionality is easily extended It measures 155 x 216 x 16 mm width x height x depth, the size of an A5 document, or roughly a 6 times 9 steno notebook. The display used is an active matrix electrophoretic display, which uses E Ink Visplex imaging film manufactured by E Ink Corporation. Underneath the E Ink screen is a digitizing tablet by Wacom, which requires a stylus for input. When it was introduced, the Iliad had largest screen size of existing e-paper products, but the newer Irix Digital Reader 1000's 10.2-inch display is the largest sold as of early 2011. The Iliad can display document files in several formats, including PDF, MobiPocket, XHTML and plain text. It can also display JPEG, BMP and PNG images, but not in color. As of May 3, 2007 MobiPocket is supported, making the MobiPocket Digital Rights Management content available on this platform. Irix's product page for the Iliad states that Support for additional e-book formats will become available over the coming months. Through its wireless service, IDS, the Iliad can also directly download content. Les Echos, a French financial newspaper, is distributed this way, as is Dutch newspaper NRC Handelsblad. Users can connect to their computer over a wireless network to sync new data onto the Iliad's internal memory or an inserted MMC, SD, or CF card. The distributor of the Iliad is Irix Technologies, a Philips spin-off company. It was initially advertised in December 2005, to be launched in April 2006, but was delayed until July, when it started to be sold as a beta product. It was released to the general public near the end of July, and since then has undergone considerable software revisions. Its list price in Europe is €649, Euros, and in US $699, however it is no longer available in North America due to FCC regulation non-compliance. Topic. 
Topic: Advanced features. One of the advanced features of the Iliad is the ability to add notes to existing documents. With the integrated Wacom tablet and stylus, it is possible to write directly on almost any document and those notes will remain on that document whenever it is viewed on the Iliad. Using the desktop software, those notes can be merged into the original document. This provides malleability, an important feature of physical books that is missing from most ebook products, allowing users to annotate, highlight, and personalize the text. Topic: <laughs> Third-party development. Because of its open Linux operating system, the Iliad is able to run third-party applications created for it. Developers and users wishing to create or run third-party applications can request shell access from the manufacturer. Developers have been able to improve on the device's functionality by porting viewers such as FBreader and programs such as AbbeyWord and Stardict. Full screen PDF reading is made available by community supported IPDF releases. Programs for recreation, including audio playback, Sudoku, and calendars, are rapidly growing community content available for use on the Iliad. Independent users have also reported successful porting of mobile web browsers to Iliad's Linux platform, although with limited functionality and many bugs. Irix as a company has had a lukewarm relationship with its open source developers. Most of the complaints toward Irix center around speed of release of SDKs and other information. They have, however, also been quite forthcoming on some projects and some of the changes the community has made have been integrated back into the company's software distribution, perhaps the most notable being that of Stylus and Input Calibration, an external development project led by Jay Curry and published as part of the main distribution in early 2008. Topic. Version 2 In September 2007, Irix Technologies released an update to the Iliad. While officially called, Iliad Second Edition, it is generally noted as a minor update to the original. The update includes Redesigned backplane Increased battery capacity Software version 2.11 Updated travel charger Included Case 2.11 software, which contains stylus calibration, extended battery life, and other things, is also available to first-generation Iliads. Book edition In May 2008, Irix Technologies added a third installment to the Iliad line of products, this time branded under the name Iliad Book Edition. This is the Iliad version 2 without Wi-Fi and a new silver look. The technical cutbacks reduce the price to $599 Euros, which is cheaper than the original. It also comes with 50 free classics, including works from well-known writers Jules Verne, Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, and Leo Tolstoy. <laughs> Bankruptcy. In early June 2010, Irix Technologies of the Netherlands filed for bankruptcy protection. 
According to CEO Hans Bronze, 2010, the decline in sales were a direct result of a delayed response from the U.S. Federal Communications Commission FCC to approve the device. See also Comparison of e-readers